Okay. Okay, today we're gonna use a lab in a box that you can use right in the patient's home to draw blood. And in the box we have the, the requisition. You should have an order from the physician for what blood he needs. And we have the FedEx shipping label. and the FedEx bag. So once we're done drawing, everything will be packed up, back in the box, and in the FedEx. After you fill out your form, the billable stamp is filled out and put right into the, the center. And then you call the number on the bottom, 1-800-GO-FEDEX, and they will come right to the patient's home and pick it up. If you do have a FedEx um, station close to you, you can always drop it off there. Okay, now in your kit, you have ice packs, which aren't really ice, they're chemical. So these do not get frozen. Don't put them in the freezer or the refrigerator before you do this. These will keep the blood at the proper temperature. Now, in your box and your bag, you have the tubes and everything necessary to draw blood. Since you're drawing from a Hickman line, Hickmans are heparinized when they're not being utilized, so they don't clot. So, the first thing you have to do is draw a waste tube. So we have a waste tube in here, and it says right on the label, this should not be used to collect a specimen. Okay, so this is your waste tube, red blood, throw it away. Now they give you two needles in the kit, but I'm gonna also show you one additional. You have your standard butterfly. So no matter which needle you end up with, um, you, you can draw, well, you can't draw from the green. You can draw from these two. This is something they put in the kit specifically from drawing from a line because when you open it, you'll see that there's no, you screw it in like normal, there's no needle at the end. It's just the flat top. So this is the needleless system for drawing blood. You can use this. If you get a kit that doesn't contain a needleless system, you can always go and use a butterfly. So attach your butterfly to your hub like usual, and then just take that off. And now you have a needleless system. Depending on what tubes you need, you have your lavenders for your CVCs. And your other regular tubes, if you're doing a, an anticoagulant panel, you need your blue and so on. So basically for most, um, most draws that you're doing, you're, you're going to be doing one of each of these. And then you can do your liver functions and kidney functions and make sure that the patient isn't having any problems. So you want to wipe the ends of the tube with alcohol. She has a cap covering the end of the tube that has alcohol in it. You can buy these and have your, your, the end of your tube uh, just continuously in alcohol. You don't have to use these if you don't have them. And then you just wipe the end very well. Even though it was sitting in alcohol, I wipe it again. Make sure you get into the grooves. Okay. Then you're going to unclamp your tube. And with the butterfly needleless system that I created, you insert this into the end and hold it in place because this has a little plastic piece that keeps a pressure so that the blood doesn't come out when you unclamp it. So we've accessed that. We're gonna use our waste tube to take out the heparin that's in the tube. So just put that together. Now, actually, this is good that this happens. 
this is not flowing. My clamp is open, and there's two reasons that this is happening. One, there's no vacuum in my tube, or two, there's a little flap of fibrin at the end of the catheter that's preventing it from drawing. So on one of the extras, I'll try it just to make sure it's not the vacuum. It's not the vacuum. So you remove this, saline flush, connect, push, pull, there's your blood. Okay, reconnect your hub, waste tube, and there you go. So that's even not only how to draw, but how to troubleshoot when you have a problem. So now this waste tube is full. This is gonna go into the sharps container and you continue to draw your uh, specimens. So one green top sodium pepper tube and then mix it gently. One gray top and it fills quite quickly. And then one lavender, which is standard for CBCs or any other tests that require a whole blood. That's done. Remove that. And then you do want to flush. So since this has a tiny bit of blood at the end, I'd like to get rid of that. Not that that's a requirement, but I'm going to be using the same flush to flush through the cap and I want to keep it as clean as possible. So connect that. Flush some of the blood right out of this beginning area. Now whenever I draw blood from a line, I replace the cap because I don't want any blood hanging out in the plastic pieces. So clamp your tube, remove your blue cap, take off the protective cap, attach that, unclamp and continue to flush with your saline. Then we'll prepare a heparin and we will heparinize the line and that's it. Remove the, the bubble that comes with the heparin when it's sent by pulling back and then slowly going forward until you get a little bubble. Always hold on to the blue Disconnect your flush and heparinize your line clamp, and we're done. And that's how to draw from a Hickman or a pick line by using either a butterfly or a needle assistant.